Welcome back friends. I'm sure most of you watching this video know about Ultimate Custom Night, while the game is heavily known for having a large roster with a wide variety of mechanics and tools. It's heavily infamous in the Max Mode community for its poor gameplay design and messy programming. Many people have decided to take a go and redesign the original game in order to make it more enjoyable. In this guide, we will be exploring one of these games which goes by the name of UCN Recode and I will go through how you can be able to get through its max mode. For disclaimer, I will not go through mechanics that are completely the same as they were in the vanilla game, and I will only go through the ones that have a different impact from the vanilla gameplay. Starting with the roster, it has gotten a decrease from 50 to 35. Some characters being removed or compiled with others. Now it's time for the gameplay. Starting from your office, on the desk you have the fan and a figurine that changes state depending on who is active on the pirate cove. As Rockstar Freddy activates, he will either demand for 5 faz coins or brutally malfunction requiring you to use the power AC to neutralize him. Nightmare BB can now activate regardless of the monitor being open, it will take more than just a simple flash in order for him to reset, the same principle can apply when he's sitting down as well. Instead of having to shine the freddles for them to disappear, the deal is for every flash from your flashlight it will keep a freddle away from your office. Now onto your monitor. The monitor is made up of three systems, those being the camera, vent and duct system. Starting with your camera system, on camera 1 the man threat that is present is Freddy, on camera 2, you are able to view the plush animatronics, on camera 3, you will be able to view Lefty and track his progress, camera the 4th of may only be audio only, but over there you are able to wind the music box and change the music to keep Chica in place. Camera 5 is the Pirate Cove as mentioned earlier containing both Foxy and Bonnie, Camera 6 is a vital camera where Funtime Foxy holds his show stage every hour, Plush Trap can appear occasionally on 3520 as well, here on Camera 7 is your prize corner, you are able to purchase plushies and famous death coin via the special Faz coin currency, when Rockstar Bonnie appears in your office, his guitar is usually located here. Finally on camera 8, you are able to deal with Toy Freddy. Moving on to your vent system, you are only able to track down with a Chica and Mangle and keep them away via the vent snare. The other vent entities will require sound cues or visual appearance on your front vent. On to the third system. The duct system is where the mediocre melodies will try and navigate to your office, Orville Elephant and Ned Bear will require the heater if either one of them is around this area. Mr. Hippo and Pig Patch will need the entrance ahead of them blocked to prevent them from entering your office. Happy Frog requires the audio to be placed on her location two times in order to reset her progress. Now it's time to focus on external mechanics. Starting from your time, each hour will now last for one full minute instead of 45 seconds. Temperature remains the same but collecting fast coins works far differently, instead of thumps from the animatronic clicking on a camera generates three collectible fast coins. Now for your power, the formula for your power decrease is around one quarter multiplied your current usage. Applying your power generator actually increases your power by 2 over 37% every second. The silent ventilation will help soothe down the music man, the heater raises your global temperature, but can heavily help against Orville and Ned Bear as mentioned previously, the power AC decreases your global temperature yet it can help against Rockstar Freddy when he's malfunctioning, even Nightmare Chica during 3520, and unsurprisingly, global music box stays the same. Okay, 
Let me go through the mayhem that you witnessed for the first 20 seconds. As soon as I get onto the cameras, my first priority is to collect a minimum of 20 fast coins, I start the night by checking Foxy as Foxy is always the first one active when starting the night, I also immediately go for power generator to increase my current power and the fan is off towards the start of the night in this version. At the 5 seconds interval, XOR will show up and activate 5 animatronics as the mini arenas have been discarded for this game. So far I've been through a loop, here is how you should play out a loop throughout the night, on the start of the loop you should check Foxy if possible, then you should be able to get the music box wound while also dealing with the duct and vent animatronics. After that, you should check cams 2 or 1 depending on where the wet floor sign is not placed, but also if you want to keep track of Freddy. I would also recommend checking on cam 3 to keep track of Lefty and utilize how much GMB you want. You should get to Cam 8 next in order to take care of Toy Freddy, then get to Cam 6 so you can know if Plush Trap is active over there. Nearing the end of the loop, you should exit your monitor and take care of as many office threats as you possibly can. After the coast becomes clear, you may restart the loop. <laughs> Now that I have passed through the first hour of this night, let me go through a few other threats that can break the cam cycle. Around the first hour interval, one of the three plushy animatronics will announce their arrival with their own respective sound cues, you can still be able to see them from cam 2 if you are unable to interpret their sound cues. It is also the first opportunity for Funtime Foxy's show stage. Admittingly, I do make a mistake by clicking when Bonnie was active. Luckily, this mistake was salvageable. From this point on, I won't say much as I have already covered most of the fundamentals for the strategy. So instead, I will speed up the footage by two times. Now that I have reached the end of the night, 
it's time I summarize up the strategy before concluding the guide. Firstly, you should start the night by immediately going for 20 FAS coins and generate as much power with the power generator during this period. Then for the rest of the night, you should play the game via this cycle. You should skim check camera 5 only if Foxy is active and not Bonnie, then you should wind up your music box while simultaneously dealing with the duct and vent animatronics, next you should check the hallway cameras to view threats such as Rockstar Chica, Freddy or even the plush animatronics. Then you should check cam 3 in case you want to keep track of Lefty. On the side note for Lefty, the amount of GMB you use for Lefty should actually be balanced with the amount of power gen you use generally, even though in a few occasions, you may find yourself using more GMB than you would normally have to. After you check for Lefty, head yourself towards Cam 8 in order to handle with Toy Freddy, then pop yourself back to Camera 6. While performing these cycles, you may come across other animatronics that break the cycle, such as Funtime Foxy for his show stage, Rockstar Bonnie for his guitar, the plushies or even plush trap. You are the future, you are the future, you are the future. Thank you all so much for watching my guide, if you found this very useful please let me know down below as it helps motivates me to make more guides in the future. Until then, goodbye friends, and stay safe.